guys welcome to let's talk algorithms this is Venkatesh today we'll be solving the problem merge intervals this is a very uh, frequently asked question in multiple interviews uh, this comes in multiple forms one uh, one of the uh, form the question is asked usually is this merge intervals given a list of intervals uh, like find out any intervals we can merge basically so if you see this is the input uh, interval list uh, an interval is a is a struct or class which has two fields start and end times so when you're given a list of intervals uh, find out all uh, places where you can merge them so if you see the first interval 1 3 and the second interval 2 6 could be merged because 3 fits already in between 2 and 6 right so 3 is less than 2 3 is greater than 2 so you could just merge them 1 6 and 10 is not greater than 15 so you can't merge them so you put 8 10 just like that and 15 18 you don't have any other intervals after that so you put 15 18 so one of the other uh, forms this question is usually asked is given a list of eight plane start and end times um, to, like give return the number of runways you require um, for the airplane airplanes to land and like uh, take off so that's one way uh, you you could usually see the question another way is given a list of start and end times of meeting rooms uh, find out the minimum number of meeting rooms do you require uh, to accommodate all the meetings so this is all as in multiple um, again um, questions and if you guys can see there are uh, multiple companies which are this planter facebook google bloomberg uber microsoft LinkedIn. yeah there's like plenty of companies which ask this question uh, and a lot of times so let's start uh, looking at how we can solve the question so one um see we could easily come up with uh, this intuition here because uh, you see the start uh, times here are sorted so one two eight fifteen so if the start times are started, basically you could compare the end time of the uh, previous um, interval with the next interval and see if they fit in. If they fit in, then you move uh, until um, you break, basically. Here, 6 is not greater than 8, right? So you start at the zero interval. Um, you check if, if your current interval's end time is greater than the next interval's start time. So if it is greater than, then you uh, continue. Um, and then here again you check if, if your current intervals end time which is six greater than eight it's not so you break off and you basically merge these two intervals add, add them to the result um, so let's write the algorithm so you sort intervals by its by their start time and then Traverse through intervals looking for the current interval um, end time greater than the next interval start time. Right? If there is an option to merge, continue until you don't satisfy condition 2 add the interval start and end time to the result right so this is a very simple algorithm um, again uh, you have to start sort the start times by um, I mean, by start time so it's usually n log n and then you process them uh, linearly so you just traverse through all the intervals that is o big o of n so if you're looking at time complexity here so big o of n log n n log n plus big o of n which is basically big o of n log n right all right so space complexity um, we don't use uh, any intermediate arrays here except the result this is mostly constant space 
All right. Let's start with the actual coding. I'm using Go for this um, program. So first things first, Go doesn't have um, a sort thing uh, uh, out of the box. So you have to implement a interface which allows this kind of starting. If you are interested, you can look at this. If not, you can skip one minute into the video to look at the actual code. So so interval start sort. So you have to implement three associated functions for um, supporting One is length, you support, you add length, and you add. So you created a custom type for uh, interval list, and then you add length, swap, swap takes two parameters, and then basically swaps them, swaps their values. So is of j, is of i. So what you're doing is basically taking uh, indexes of two intervals and then swapping their values. So you can just copy paste. Uh, we need a new um, thing called less. Less is basically you have two indexes again, and then you have to tell which one you have to tell which one is has a lower start. So if i of the interval at i has lesser start time or not. Okay, so this gives us a basically a sort interface. Now let's check for uh, corner cases, basically empty intervals. If interval length is zero, you basically return intervals, right? You don't have to do all the processing. Now you sort, sort the intervals by start time. How do you do that? You use an internal um, sort function, but you could use the new thing we created. So just pass uh, user interface, pass the intervals. So once you have sorted them um, and you already check for um, empty interval array, so what you'll do is let's start by um, saving the first intervals start and end times. So why are we doing this? So basically, this is how you keep track of the current start and end um, interval times to add to the result. So let's make a result. Um, array is basically an array of intervals, right? So you make a slice of zero. So Go has something called slices, basically arrays with zero length, or basically array list. So now uh, you iterate over the intervals. So what you're gonna do is check if interval dot start le less than or equal to n. If it is, then you assign end. Um, you know what, we just need one. Um, so Go apparently doesn't have the integer max uh, method. The math.max only allows floating points. So let's make a small custom method. If you less than b, you return b because we want the maximum value. Otherwise, you return here. Yeah. 
So what you is what you're gonna do is um, when the interval start is less than or equal to end, you assign max int of end comma interval dot end. You know, if it doesn't satisfy the condition, that means you don't have any more um, intervals that can be merged. So you assign the values start and end to the result. So this is basically adding the values to the result array. So once you add start and end to the result, so that could be after you found few intervals to merge, right? So your start and end uh, are from a different intervals. So now you have to assign start and end to the latest last interval you saw. So you're reassigning start and end. Um, and what happens um, after that is, uh, imagine you have last um, these two intervals, which can be you know merged. So what happens is when you're here, uh, you enter the condition if interval dot start is less than or equal to end. Imagine if this is like nine, so then it satisfies the condition. You assign end is equal to 18, uh, and then you exit because that is the last interval. So so you need a, a statement which basically adds the last available start and end to the result. So interval start and after you do this finally you return the result. All right, let's cross check. We're doing the basic stuff. Okay, you have the length of intervals. You sort them by start time. You take the start and end of this thing. Uh, you most you pass through the intervals. So one question you might ask is if we are already taking the start and end for the for the first um, interval, why are we like again? Uh, why are we starting again from zero? Why not like start from one? Um, the the answer is uh, basically if if you have um, I mean, when you do this, basically, um, like the first start and end, won't, end won't be the same thing, right? Even if they are, uh, you still assign the end value um, to the to the current interval, end value to the end value. So uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you could start from in index one, and that won't affect this program. So let's run, see if it works. Hopefully, it works. All right. Something went wrong. Da, 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 da. You know what? I J, not I I. All right. Same thing. Because we copied it over, apparently. Run code again. Uh, output one six eight ten fifteen eighteen one six eight ten fifteen eighteen. All right, let's submit. Accepted. Um, Twelve milliseconds beats hundred percent of go submissions. All right. Um, if you have any more questions, please add a comment. And if you like this video, and if you want more videos to come um, in this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.